enough now. Wow, this is fun. Hello, Henning Pauli here um, with, uh, well, again, a cool pedal review. This time it's a premiere. It's actually a world premiere. You don't know what I'm showing you. Because brand new off the press is uh, the first series of Moval pedals. And um, they are... Uh, they're amazing. They're small and they're cool. And there's something special about them, which is uh, that I kind of, you know, was part of their genesis. Um, I actually uh, worked with Moval personally to uh, come up with the names. And the designs were created by myself and a good friend of mine, Christina Lishinsky. Thanks, Christy. And um, here is uh, the first series. Uh, the second series uh, is about to come out, actually, already. And I also worked with them on the whole design, the naming, and you know, tweaking the, the parameters and stuff like this. And they were designed by my good friend, uh, Mo Stubik. So, but now we're looking at the first series, which is called Mini Demons. Why Mini Demons? Well, first of all, look at how big this thing is. Actually, that's wrong. Look at how small this thing is. It's really small. So this is kind of my hand and this whole pedal fits in it. Does it mean that, you know, it's a toy? It's not to be taken seriously? Well, if you take this and, for example, the Love Pedal Super Lead, they weigh exactly the same. Love Pedal's almost twice as big. They packed a lot of hardware in these little things. So don't underestimate them just because they're small. They're full pedals. What, what they don't have is a battery inside because where would that go? So you need a power supply. But um, this is a serious pedal. And um, we got six of them. We got the Scorpion, you know, a mini demon. We got today the Black Widow right there. We got the Busy Bee. The Firefly, the Hornet, and the Centipede, which is a delay. So six pedals coming up and uh, you're gonna get to see them all. A um, couple of things about them. Again, no battery inside. They're very tiny. The cool thing is, uh, which you can probably see already, the, they don't have a um, little LED, because when you turn them on, the whole main parameter knob lights up. So that is actually very nice and visible on stage. That's a great feature. Um, what else? Well, packaging, very, very classy. I mean, I gotta say this. Okay, so that lots of information right here. And very classy black packaging, nice uh, design on it. And you open this up. This isn't a cheap ass pedal. It actually comes nicely wrapped, tightly packed. You know, this is actually a, another Black Widow right here. Um, little in, uh, instruction booklet in there, doesn't help you too much, but you know, it's nice, nicely printed. So the whole presentation is very high class, very boutique. Price wise, Tough to say since they haven't hit the stores yet. I'm thinking they're probably going to be in the stores somewhere between, let's say, 65 and maybe 80 euro. Kind of probably similar in dollars. That's kind of what you're looking at. And you're getting a whole lot of tiny pedal for the price. Because uh, sound-wise, everything you want in a pedal is right there. Well, before we begin, one little thing I would do, and we're going to try this right now, because there's only one parameter that's big. So one parameter, one knob is actually full size and the other ones are little toggle, not toggles, little you know, mini pots, which is absolutely fine to set up your pedal. And the main uh, knob, which is the drive on all the uh, distortion and overdrive pedals is the big one. But what I would do to just see it a little bit quicker and for you to see it in the video, I would take a little, you know, pen Waterproof. We have a little silver one here. We're going to try to mark it so that you can actually see the settings better. So, all done and marked. And I kind of uh, wrecked the pedal a little bit um, because the paint ran everywhere. So, be careful when you do that. But um, I think now you can see the settings kind of nicely. So, all centered here and off. Let's talk about the setup. What do we have? 
Um, I'm playing a kind of low output guitar. It's an LSL Telecaster, it's an LSL T-Bone. Because um, I'm going to play some, you know, rocky, classic -y kind of riffs. So uh, I think that's a good demo guitar for this pedal. And uh, it's going into PRS SE20 amp. That's kind of a Fender-y type amp. Oops. No, oh, gotta get this up. Kind of a Fender-y type amp. Very clean. I'm going to show you. <coughs> don't, don't uh, look at the switch. Actually, you can't. Ha! <laughs> because um, it's reversed. So. So that's the amp clean. Again, Fender PRS SE20 going into uh, an isolation cabinet uh, with a Igniter 112 uh, cabinet, mic'd with a, uh, an SM57 going into a Universal Audio 710D preamp, all on solid state. So um, before this whole shebang, we're gonna throw the Moval Black Widow. What's behind the Black Widow? Well, Moval describes it as a high gain overdrive. At first I was like, no, this is distortion. Wrong, I was wrong. It's definitely the overdrive. This is based, okay, on a very famous pedal that you've seen on a million pedal boards. Some people actually I've seen have two of them on there. So if you don't want to spend the 180 bucks on this classic pedal, the Black Widow delivers. It's small. If you, you know, want to get something else on your pedal board, not break the bank, this is the thing. So a couple of things to know about it. Um, this output switch up here, in the description it just says, well, switch is the output mode. When it's flipped up, you get a little bit more high end. Flip down, a little bit less output and a little bit, you know, less high end. That's all that it is. Um, the more you go in the higher gain direction, or drive in this case, um, the more punch in low end you will get because that's kind of simulating a um, power amp distortion. So in the beginning you don't necessarily want to crank up the, uh, the, the tone knob and, and add the highs, but the more you go in this direction, the, the thicker it will get and the more you want the tone to come up. So we're going to start with a low setting which is... I'm sorry. Very nice for open chords maybe in the middle position. even just like a, a little bit of a clean boost, like it makes your clean sound just a little bit, a little bit shine more. See if we crank up the tone, how much it can shine. Thank <laughs> you. 
very, you know, numb. Let's crank up the drive, because this is what this puppy is made for. For a lead sound, it's actually really nice and creamy. It's uh, it, it it can sing like crazy. So let's give this a try. Actually, well, let's flip the switch and see what happens. That's a thick ass rock sound. A bit less output and also a little bit less defined in the high end. So let's go and get some backing tracks happening here. Um, the backing tracks you're gonna hear, I have four of them with rhythm and one kind of a solo thing. They are actually from the Jams platform uh, from the package uh, Power Chords 2. So go to jams.com 3ms 3 3ms Go to jams.com, you can play them, you can upload them, and you can be rated by fellow users. It's a really, really cool system. And very soon on jams.com, maybe when you see this already happening, there's going to be a, a mobile sponsored package, which means you can actually win these pedals if you play the stuff correctly. So go there, check it out. And here we go. Let me see which one that is. Okay, off we go. Uh.
Yeah, let's try a little bit of a lead sound, front pickup, and let's see if I can make it creamy. in quite a while this is a this was bad but it's not about me showing off how great I am which I'm not it's about uh, you hearing the pedal and uh, I think you just did so anything else I can add I don't think so this was the Moval Black Widow right there Black Widow I hate spiders I can can't even touch the damn thing <clears throat> I'm, I'm manly <clears throat> and um, there will be many many more well, actually, five more. And when Series 2 comes out, which I'm really excited about, then uh, you will be seeing all of those. Go over to jams.com. You can win these pedals there. It'll still be a little bit till the uh, challenges are up, but go there, warm up, play the Power Chord challenges, and uh, keep your eyes out in stores and online for mobile pedals. Great value, really cool design. Well, I was, you know, I was part of that. Naming, way cool, my idea. And um, I think I think you won't regret it because the Black Widow is fun, and the other ones, you know what? They're not getting worse. They're getting better. This is just the beginning. See ya. <laughs>